Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Joy and this is Yoga with Joy. I'm going to take you through a super gentle practice today. It's for anyone who's been recently experienced abdominal surgery. So it might be only a couple of weeks ago or it might be, yeah, a few, even a few months ago. So it just depends how you're feeling and how gentle you need it. And um, please, if you've, you know, if you very recently had surgery, just take it very, very easy um, and be mindful of what feels okay and what just really doesn't feel okay to you to do and opt out. If you have any special questions, please ask your doctor um, and they'll be able to advise you if they think it's, this is an appropriate sequence for you. Now, everyone has different surgery um, procedures, surgical procedures. So basically, if you know what you've had done to your body, um, what ex your body's experienced, and so be, yeah, just be really careful. So I've actually got a pile of things there, and it doesn't mean you have to have all those things. So um, I've got some, I've got a bolster, I've got some cushions, random cushions, um, a couple of blankets, and I've got a couple of my blocks just from the cupboard and a strap and the straps for hamstring stretch. Any of those things you could just have at hand, um, but you also could do this without anything at all. Um, it's just nice to sometimes kind of bolster ourselves up or put cushions underneath just to make yourself um, feel comfortable. So I'll be using some of those, um, but you, yeah, you don't necessarily have to. So yeah. Take it super, super, super gentle and look after your body and give your body some nourishment. I also have another video for abdominal surgery. This so you can mix and match. I'll pop it up here. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please do just down below. And also you can put in any comments or any, yeah, like this video if you like it. It just really helps me make the videos. So see you on the mat in a few moments and looking forward to practicing this very gentle practice with you. Oh, radiant sun, pure consciousness, flaming orb of truth and bliss. Remove the veil so I can see, illuminate my heart, awaken me. So we're going to start lying down, find your way onto the mat really gently and carefully. Place the feet and the knees hip width apart and semi-supine. And we'll begin by breathing in to the belly and into the chest. So putting one hand on the chest and one hand on the belly. You can be using any cushions or anything you'd like, like maybe a cushion under your your head can be quite nice. I'll use this blanket here. And to see what feels good for you. Inhaling into the chest. Notice the chest rising, keeping your shoulders lovely and soft. Exhale, softening the chest back down towards the spine. Inhale into the belly and notice what that feels like. If you feels at all tight or sore. And exhale back, navel and belly back to, down towards the spine. Inhale chest, exhale chest. Inhale belly, exhale. If you notice your, your feet are kind of scrunching into the mat, one, just release your feet. Inhale into your chest and exhale. Lovely. It's calming down the nervous system. Inhale into your belly, abdominal area, and exhale gently. Inhale into the chest. Exhale, inhale, 
really opening up this area here and then exhale. All this breathing will be really good for eliminating any toxins through the surgery as well. The anesthetic. Inhale, chest. Exhale. And then one more time with the belly. Inhale. And gently exhaling. And then bring the hands down to your side. <coughs> Take a breath in to, to prepare. And then exhale, bringing the hands up behind you onto the mat. Breath in. And then exhale, releasing down. That's great. Breath in to the belly, the rib cage, and the chest. And then exhale back. Breathing in, and then exhale the hands back down by your side. Now we're going to lift up the pelvic floor as we, in, as we exhale the hands behind us. So for a man, that's a perineal area, down right at the base, the same as a woman, right down at your base. Okay, breath in, exhale, lifting up the pelvic floor. Breath in, exhaling down. The reason why we're bringing the pelvic floor here is because some people will be have had a hysterectomy or anything like that, um, but also it gets weak often when our core muscles get weak, so well, our abdominal muscles. So breath in, exhale, pelvic floor lifting those muscles all in the vaginal wall or the perineum. Inhale, exhale, releasing, releasing those muscles. Breath in, exhale, lifting pelvic floor, lifting the hands up, inhale, and then exhaling down, beautiful, lovely. So we'll keep our pelvic floor involved a bit um, as we go. So this one with the, with the pelvic tilts we're about to do was, is perfect. So breath in to, to prepare. Exhale, lift up, lift up pelvic floor. And then breath in as we come down. We'll just do exhale up and then inhale down. Exhale, lifting up, tilting the pelvis, tucking in the tummy. Inhale, releasing the pelvic floor and arching the back. Inhale. Exhale, we're doing it a bit accentuated, so we're inhaling up, inhaling, slightly arching the back. We're really playing around with your tummy area. So it's probably gonna, you're gonna be feeling it, but also you might not have done these exercises recently. So it depends on how long ago your surgery was. So really just feeling into what's good for you. Exhaling up, inhaling down, and really just arch as much as, it, as much as it feels okay to. Just do it. You can just reduce the movement if it's too much. Exhale, inhale, releasing pelvic floor. Exhale, engaging the pelvic floor. Inhale, releasing the pelvic floor. Lovely, really nice, good. And then gently release the movement. Fantastic. Okay, we're gonna take the left leg and just gently drop it open. We're keeping everything still. So you're keeping your hips in line here and just exhaling, dropping the left leg. Inhale up. Exhale down. If you need to, you can do what I'm doing, which is placing one hand on each hip bone. Exhale. Inhale up. This will be toning up those, the inner core muscles really deep inside. Super gentle. 
That's why this kind of this kind of practice is perfect for if you've recently had surgery and I've got a whole playlist of gentle yoga videos if you feel like you you've had surgery quite a while ago and you've been using videos like this for a while and then I can pop up the um, playlist of gentle yoga up above so you can find some gentle yoga that will be suitable for you and then the right side so gently dropping the knee down. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. So depending on how you are, this might your hips might be really stiff. So you could be feeling this in your hips as well. Exhale down. Inhale up. You could be having your hands down by the side as well. The reason why I have these here is just to make sure that I'm I'm being really careful. Yep, so they're not twisting like this at the moment. Exhale, dropping the knee. Inhale. Lovely, good. One more time with the right side. And then inhale up. Perfect. That's great going to lift up so we'll place the hands down we're just going to lift up one leg at a time so just being really gentle again this is strong on your tummy muscles actually you'll be surprised you can even rotate your little rotation of your foot while you're here and then the other way that's quite nice so lift up exhale exhale the leg up and then gently drop down see how that feels exhale up inhale drop down Exhale up, inhale, drop down. See what that's like. Now, if you've if it's been a while ago for you, and you're feeling really strong, a lot stronger, you can bring in something like this. If it's been really recent, just be careful. Exhale towards you. Inhale down. Exhale. Exhale, and then placing down. Then lift up the right side. In the right angle, you see your legs at a right angle. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. And again, I'm using my finger here, placing it here, just to make sure that I'm, I'm keeping my hip on the mat, and that I'm, I'm also tucking sorry, tucking my tummy and then it flattens my lower back, the lordosis in my lumbar spine, back towards the mat. Inhale down, exhale up. Exhale. And then placing the right leg down. Lovely. Oh, actually, it's a lot of work that's going on at the moment. So now we're going to bring the left knee into the chest and we'll stretch out the right leg if it feels okay. Otherwise, keep the right leg up. And just bring the knee into the chest and just see how that is for you. How's that feeling? See if it's okay to bring your knee in. Lots of deep breaths as you bring your knee in. Lovely. <laughs> Good. And then let's see what it's like to if we place your right hand on your right hip and then gently open up your left knee. So you're opening up your hip a little bit, giving yourself a stretch. And if it's feeling like too much to stretch open, you can also just support and let gravity do its thing. And then bring up the knee and we'll see if we can come into the twist. So see how this feels to come into the twist. See if it's comfortable for you just to come over a bit. What's your belly saying about that? What are your abdominal muscles, what do they think? Bring yourself over. P 
being super careful, depending on if it's just too much, just bring yourself over a little bit like this. It doesn't have to be all the way. And it depends on your previous flexibility anyway, all of these kind of things. And then gently bring yourself back up. Bring your right knee up and we'll bring the left leg in for a hamstring stretch. This is when I mentioned earlier, I mentioned the strap there, which you could use a strap. If you are using a strap, you grab, grab it and put it around your, your foot. But of course, always when you're moving, be mindful of your belly, your abdominal muscles. So we can use a strap like this. <sighs> and relax. You can, it helps you actually. Straps can be quite nice because you can relax your shoulders. And then if you haven't got a strap, that's fine. You can point and flex your foot if you haven't got a strap, that's quite nice. So exhaling the leg in towards you. And then gently placing your leg down again. Perfect. That's good. Great. Okay. So we're going to come and bring, we're going to bring this right leg into the chest. So again, you can have a bent knee if you want, or you can straighten it out. And just being mindful of wherever your scar is. Exhaling the knee in towards you, stretching out your left leg if you wish. You can always flex the foot if you want. It's a lovely stretch out of this hip here as well. And then placing the hand on your, uh, your left hand on the left hip and then gently opening up which is fine to do with the left straight leg but you can also have it bent when we come to the twist you'll want to straighten the leg <sighs> deep breaths mm, really looking after your body it feels good and then we can bring the knee over to the front, over to the opposite side. In my case, it's the front, <laughs> might not be with yours. And then the right hand is out. See, look, I'm going quite far over and this might be too much for you. So remember, you might just go this far. Just see how it is. See whatever's right for you and your body. You can relax. And then bringing your legs back down, but you're going to be coming up into a hamstring stretch. So now you probably want to bend your left knee and then stretch up. You can do it with a straight leg as well, actually. And you can have a little point and flex for your hamstrings. Or you can be up here, trying to come how you're feeling. And of course, you can use your strap. Nice. Exhaling the leg towards you and then bringing your leg down. That's good. Nice. Okay, so we're going to gently move on to your side. Going to gently move on to the side so you can. Um, yeah, you can do anything you want to make yourself more comfortable onto your side. Just be careful because moving over onto the side can be super sore if you've had surgery. I remember that. <laughs> that was a thing. 
Okay, and we'll just gently open up. So we're just opening up the right leg. So I'm on my left hand side, this is my right leg, but you might have gone on to the other side and that's fine. So the top leg, you're just gently moving. Inhale, um, exhale, close. Inhale, open, exhale, close. Inhale, exhale. And you can bring in your pelvic floor muscles here as well. You can lift up your pelvic floor if that feels not good to do that. Your exercises. Strengthening all the muscles down here. That's great. Into your glutes. Remembering your breath. Inhale, exhale. And then relax down. Gently straighten your top leg. Inhale up. Exhale down. Really gently, giving yourself a bit of strengthening in your leg. Being super careful of your belly, remember. Making sure it's okay for you, whatever you do. And then exhale, bringing it down. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to make our way to the other side. I'm going to pl place my, my blankets over here. Make yourself nice and comfy. Ah, lovely. Ooh, I could fall asleep. Okay, so coming into these knee lifts here. So inhale, exhale. And heading up, exhaling down, being really careful here. It's strengthening inside, inside your abdominal muscles, but we don't want it to be so strong that there's any, any damage or hurting going on. Being super careful. Great. Exhale. It's good. Okay, then lengthen the top leg. Inhaling up, exhaling down. So really strengthening your leg. Depending on how you've been over the last weeks since surgery, you might be feeling a bit unfit, might be feeling like you haven't done much exercise. So um, yeah, this can build up a bit of strength. Being really mindful of your belly. And if you want to put your hand on your your belly here, your abdomen, then please do. It can feel good to stabilize. Just hold it. Make sure we're not doing any damage. And then gently releasing down. And we'll bring ourselves really carefully, so being really mindful of your transitions, Bring yourself up into a seated position. So if you can be in cross-legged, that's great. Otherwise, you can be in kneeling. And if you want to, you can place a blanket underneath. And this is, your blocks can be really useful as well. Cushions, you might want a cushion underneath, underneath you. Okay, again, being mindful of your movements. Pop the cushion under and maybe place Make yourself nice and comfy anyway. And we'll just finish off with a few stretches sitting up so we're kind of ready and yeah, ready for the, the day or ready to get moving in any way that we are. Okay, so lifting up your arms, exhale. 
And then gently clasping, opening up the chest, inhale. Exhale, moving. Inhale. Exhale, opening up. Inhaling, opening up the chest. Oh, nice on the shoulders. Exhale, breath in. Stretching up. And then bring the hands back down towards to the knees. And then we're going to inhale forward and exhale back. So we're doing this kind of seated cat. Cat flexions and extensions of the spine. Inhale forward. Exhale back. So now bringing out the arms, palms up, forward, down, back with the breath, down, forward, up, forward, down, back, down, forward, up. So remembering your deep breaths, palms up, forward, down, back, down, forward, up. Keeping your shoulders nice and loose so we're not tensing in the shoulders. Last time. Down, forward, up, lifting up the palms and bringing the hands into Namaste. And to complete, we'll just come into a gentle twist over to the left, inhaling through the crown of the head and exhale, twisting. Just gently be mindful, remember being mindful of your, your precious body, abdominal area. And on the next exhale, bring yourself forward, breath in and then over to the right. Just a few breaths here, being careful. If, it, if you don't want to twist so far, you really don't have to, just be super careful. And then on the next exhale, bring yourself forward. We'll just have a little, move the head to one side and over to the other side, keeping the shoulders lovely and loose. And then bring the head back up and bring the hands to the heart. And let's finish our practice together. Just want to thank you for taking this time to look after your body. Really take care of yourself after yeah, big operation. And namaste. And thank you for joining me. Thank you for yeah, watching this video. And if you'd like any more videos of the same, same or more progressive, then I'm up for making some more post-op videos um, with maybe with a progression. And yeah, lots of love and pain. Radiance and pure consciousness flaming orb of truth and bliss remove the veil so i can see